welcome back to the channel. If you're a student or a developer who wants premium tools for free, like Canva Pro, JetBrains, Namecheap Domain, MongoDB credits, and much more, today's video is for you, because I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how you can get GitHub Student Developer Pack approval using your .edu email. And trust me, I know how stressful it feels when you apply and GitHub rejects your application. I've been there too. Excitement starts high, then rejection email hits like exam results. But don't worry. Today, you will not face any rejection. Before we start, let me quickly tell you what you need. Only three simple things. 1. A working.edu email. 2. A valid student ID, or anything that proves you're a student. Even a fee invoice works. 3. Your GitHub account. That's it. No rocket science. Okay. Step number one. Go to github.com and log in. If you don't have an account yet, create one. Use your personal email for your GitHub account. Why? Because .edu emails sometimes expire after a year, but your GitHub account stays forever. So create your account. Go to your profile. Add your real name and a clear profile picture. Why profile picture? Because GitHub manually checks your account. A real photo gives trust and reduces chances of rejection. Now open a new tab and search GitHub Student Developer Pack or just go to education.github.com slash pack. You'll see a big blue button saying, get your pack. Click on it. Now listen carefully. This is the most important part. 99% people make mistakes here and get rejected. So take your time. Step one. Select your academic status. First, it will ask you, are you a student? Choose. Yes, I am a student. Step two, enter your school name. Type the name of your college or university. Make sure spelling is correct. GitHub has an internal database. If the name matches exactly, approval becomes easier. Step three, upload ID, proof. You will see an option to upload. Student ID, enrollment letter fee invoice, or any official document showing your name plus college name. Now here's a pro tip. Make sure your document is clear and readable. No blurred images, no cropped documents. If you don't have a student ID, just download your fee receipt or enrollment certificate from your college portal. That works 100%. Step 4. Select your verification method. You'll get two choices. 1. Verify using .edu email 2. Upload student document. Choose both if possible. It increases your approval chances. Step 5. Enter your .edu email. This is the most emotional moment. That feeling when you type your .edu email and think, please, this time approval AAOs. Enter your .edu email properly. GitHub will send a verification mail. Open your edu inbox. Click verify email. If you don't see it, check spam folder. Step 6. Explain why you want the GitHub pack. This is the part where most people write, for coding, or for projects, and they get rejected. Write something meaningful like, I am currently learning software development and working on academic projects. GitHub student pack will help me practice real-world tools like Docker, JetBrains IDEs, and cloud platforms for my learning and portfolio. Keep it simple, honest and clear. After filling everything, hit submit. Now your heart will beat a little fast. That's normal. We all know the fear of rejection, but relax. Usually GitHub takes one to five days to review your application. Sometimes even within 24 hours, you will receive an email with the subject. You're approved for the GitHub student developer pack. And trust me, that moment feels like getting scholarship approval. You can also check manually. Go to github.com, profile, Settings, Billing. You'll see Education, Pack Active. Now let me quickly hype you up because these benefits are huge. Free domain from Namecheap Canva Pro, Education Access, JetBrains IDE, worth $600 per year, 
Heroku credits MongoDB, Atlas credits Unity Student, GitHub Copilot Student, many cloud, AI, design and coding tools free. This pack literally gives you tools worth $5,000 plus for free. So trust me, this is worth every minute. Section 8. Pro tips to avoid rejection. Here are four tips. 1. Use your real name. Must match your student ID. 2. Avoid using VPN during application 3. Upload clear documents 4. Verify your .edu email quickly. Follow these and your approval rate becomes 100%. And that's it. If you follow every step I explained, you will definitely get approved for the GitHub Student Developer Pack. If you want, I can also make videos on getting Canva Pro free, how to get JetBrains free, how to get EduMail easily, how to use these student tools properly. Just comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. T. Lover Tech. See you in the next video.